Hi, this is Reverend Kathy, and this is the Five Minute Bible Talk. We're talking about metaphysical interpretation. We talked last time about that everybody interprets the Bible, but one of the ways that Unity does is metaphysical interpretation, which means metaphysic, which is two Greek words, meta, above, beyond, over, physica, which means the physics, is beyond the physical, of looking of what it means beyond the obvious or finding that hidden meaning where the scripture breaks open and speaks to us in our daily lives and also in our consciousness where life, where we experience life. So when we interpret metaphysically, there are four steps we can take. Number one is to select the scripture we're going to, to look at, to read it, to study it. Number two is to identify the key words and phrases. What are the names of the people and the places and the events and the movement, the action verbs? Number three is to develop interpretations for the words. I use the Metaphysical Bible and Dictionary to, to help me out with that. And then four is to allow the metaphysical meaning just to emerge, to let it simmer and bubble up until it becomes clear on what it has to speak to us. So I've chosen the story of Mary, Martha, and Jesus today from uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. Jesus entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. Now, it's a familiar story to some of us. And the familiar interpretation is that we in our daily lives get so busy about the things rushing around to make sure this is right and this is right and this is done and this is done that we forget the importance of taking time for quiet communion with spirit. To really take that time for prayer and meditation and the reading and the studying so that we're prepared then in our day of busyness to do it with ease and grace. But if we look below into the hidden means, what does it say to us, you know, personally and um, in our conscious awareness? We look at the names. Jesus, of course, is the I am identity. It's the Christ. It is the divine um, outpicturing of God. Lord, is the activity of spirit. And Mary and Martha represent those phases of the soul's activity in welcoming the inner spiritual teacher. And so Martha is that outer activity of the soul receiving the higher self. So she is the one who prepares um, us for being ready for our higher expression. And Mary is that interactivity of the soul's receptivity to the teaching. So basically, Mary is receptive. She represents our, our soul's receptivity to inner teachings, and the truth about who we are. And Martha is that outer phase of the soul that prepares and receives then the higher self that outpictures from that inner knowing. You know, both activities are necessary, but we need to learn that service doesn't overtake the time for communion. Because when we take that time for inner quietness, to, to be still and listen to that still small voice, that inner teacher, then our day can move forward, our activities can move forward. We can be of greater service to the community. If we allow our activity to overtake that time of communion, that time of quiet and silence and connection, then anxiety and irritation can bubble up. And it, it, we don't show up to our best selves. So really, Martha is showing her love by service, and Mary is showing her love by learning through the activity of spirit. We need both. But that's my personal piece. When I look at, sometimes I get so concerned about how I'm sitting or how I'm breathing or how the hands are, that I forget that I just need to get quiet. Get quiet and listen to that inner guidance and that inner wisdom, and it will let me know if I'm supposed to be sitting in a certain position or moving or, or what words I need to be saying. So I invite you to read the story about Mary and Martha and see what it has to say about you.
Till next time, blessings.